Let me tell you, this prohibition nonsense has been great for business. I'm Gene Wilson. Yeah, the guy who's been taking over the west side of Chicago. So, you're the one they sent to help me out. Let me show you around. Here's the main operation. I have a moonshine still set up in the back of my aunt's barbershop. It's hidden in the back, so nobody will know any better. But we're running production seven days a week and distributing it all over the west side now. We're making a killing. This stuff just sells itself. If we keep growing like this, we'll have the west side tied up in no time flat. But there's trouble brewing. See the Bauman outfit over there? They're trying to get in our turf. They've been taking over territory right next to ours, cutting us off from the speakeasies that want to buy our booze. What do we do about this competition? It's a tough question. We don't have enough people to take them out, so we're gonna diversify instead. Take a look over here. Looks like there's a lot of demand for wine in our neighborhood. A backroom winery could be very profitable. I leased a second building over here for Miss Julia Becker, and we'll put a new production in there. There's a lot of options if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Distilleries for moonshine are very profitable these days, but we've already got one. Instead, let's expand into wine production, since there's such a high demand for it. It's gonna cost us a pretty penny, but I bet it'll be worth it. Let's build this and come back in a bit. So now we need to get in touch with sellers of grape concentrate to supply a growing operation. Unfortunately, it's come all the way from California, so there aren't many suppliers. There are a few inside the Bauman territory, but that's off limits to us. But I have a friend, a bit further out, who can supply a few barrels. I'm gonna send my associate, Fritz, to have a chat and put in an order for all the barrels we can get. Okay, we're getting six barrels. Let's bring them back, load them into our storage. Our winery is ready to go, so production will start immediately. But the boss shouldn't have to do mundane deliveries, you know? So I've hired Agnes Winkler for that. She's a good driver, and she's been doing all my deliveries. I'm going to add this new spot to her schedule, and she'll take care of everything. It's good to have trusted people working for you. This leaves you free to look after more important things, like knocking heads. All right, our first batch of brick wine is ready for distribution. And just in time, too. Now that it's winter time, people really want their pleasant warming drinks for the long winter nights. Unfortunately, we can't sell this to just anyone. The stuff's illegal, right? But we know a few people we can trust. One is our friend Steven over at the Swedish Deli. Another one is Willie Becker, Julia's husband. They're good people. So we'll send our guy Fritz over there with the delivery and start liquidating this highly profitable inventory. I estimate we're gonna make about $600 on this deal. Not bad for a day's work. It's good to have friends in this tough city and we'll make more friends as we let them in on our profitable deals. But we've just barely scratched the surface. Next time we meet, Let's talk about connections and trust.